be playing Downwell. Uh, so I'm playing the PC version here. Picked it up on Steam during the winter sale last month. Uh, I'm trying to get the chat open here, but in the meantime, let's just uh, let's hop down the well. So, yeah, Downwell is this, like, vertical, roguelike uh, sh shooter? Shooting? Jumping? Um, yeah, you kind of go down this well and uh, earn some power-ups while you're at it. And it's uh, it's pretty cool. And at three bucks, I think uh, normally, it's really really good. Let me let me see if I can get the chat open here first before I start things out. There it is. Yeah. So if you're in the chat and you have some questions about Downwell or Monster Vine or Monster Mondays. Feel free to shout them out. Of course, if you're watching the YouTube video, you can always just post a comment. Yeah, so let's let's go down the well. So as you progress, you unlock different styles. I haven't played enough uh, on this account to have anything but the usual style. I'm not sure what Windows device just don't bug there. And my controller still works. So it's kind of a it's a three button game. It works on that's why it works it works okay on mobile. Um, by three buttons I mean two directions. Okay, I guess it's jump, which is also shoot, and then there's left and right. You'll notice that when I run out of ammo, I need to land or kill an enemy to regain that ammo. And as you defeat enemies, you earn these uh, gems. Gems are used as a currency to buy more upgrades from places like this. Or, this is just a laser upgrade. I'll get it and show off some of the new, the different weapon types. So there's, you can see I only have two shots before I need to kill something. But it does uh, over over penetrating enemies and objects, so you can kind of clear things out in a, in a solid line here. Uh, there's, these areas here are like in a time bubble, so time stops when you're inside of them. It's pretty. It's a really cool. Fun, uh, yeah, I just really like the style of this game. As you can see, it's pretty simple or easy to get hurt. Um, and the way to actually do really well in this game that I've not been able to pull off or is difficult to pull off with a standard play style is uh, combos, chaining combos. So you want to get as many kills as you can without touching the ground. So getting gems. Let's, let's try stomping on enemies creates a blast. Maybe an AOE, a little bit of an AoE. So I'm on a gem high right now. Which means... God, um, my... I think I get more gems per kill and... Uh, I do more damage, so I, I switched to the puncher gun there and got a heart. And come on. You really want to not play what I'm playing right now, which is dying. But let's see if we can do a little better. I don't only have the one style of. I just played this on my, my road trip uh, the west coast and I fell in love with it there actually like, played it like three times and got pretty far and just 
really, really like the uh, kind of arcade feel to it. And, you know, I've played a lot of Spelunky, and there's some similarities to it. It's not quite as in-depth as, as something like Spelunky or, or Nuclear Throne, uh, those roguelikes, but that kind of replayability to a certain extent. I think maybe once I finish beat the boss, there's probably fewer secrets and the environment doesn't isn't as dynamic. So I don't know what the drone does. Getting gems causes a bullet to shoot up, which let's do this, yeah. Shoot a gun module to so if I get something I don't like. Yeah, I've seen some, I guess, higher level downwell play, and they, they don't touch the ground ever. I like that. I had a six combo there. Probably my personal best. I'm just gonna hit by a frog. So you see the enemies are colored in a certain way. Um, okay, N is Noppy. I'm just gonna take that because it's a neat gun. So yeah, you want to touch things on the white side. Um, so you see these little bubbles and jellyfish things. Uh, white on top and red on the bottom. So as long as you jump on them from the going down, you're fine. Rocket jump. Well, let's do lift jump. I'd still be unsure what was causing this. Really bad. Dying again. But you still make progress here based on your gems. Um, so I unlocked a new palette, which I can show at any time. If you played Lift Rousers, um, you'll be familiar with the different palette types as an unlockable. Really add anything to the game, and sometimes it takes away from the game. There's not really a benefit in most palettes. It's just harder or different. The puncher, and I got two charge. Already down to one. Ten percent discount. Jetpack freeze on the charge. I guess we'll take the numbers card. So I haven't played enough to know exactly which combos and which items uh, are best. Here we go. I'm gonna change the palette. Because this is super confusing coming from not playing all that much. Put in a couple of hours. There we go, another six combo. So as you uh, increase your combo, you're rewarded with, with things like... Uh, I'm going to have to get that. Uh, things like bonus gems or uh, even hearts so you can heal yourself after successfully pulling off a long kill chain. Right there I got a, a hundred gems for, for that one. And the gems are, like I said, they're good for the shop and they're good for kind of unlocking things between rounds. More of a, a rogue legacy style. Another palette. 
Aqua. Take a look at that real quick. It's blue. I don't want to use it. Uh, I had unlocked um, some more on the different profile. Like Virtual Boy, which is probably the worst, absolute worst color palette for this game. Because it's, uh, if you haven't used Virtual Boy, it's Nintendo's first 3D console. And it was all red. Everything was red. So if you uh, imagine everything being red in this game, then you have to be very familiar with the game types. To even have a chance. I'm not sure what keeps getting disconnected on my, my computer. I'm not sure if that audio is even coming through. Oh crap, no one wasn't paying attention. I just thought it was great. Okay. There's a little bit of a wall jump you can do, but um, I think you can do it once. It's pretty difficult. I do prefer the, playing this game with the controller versus playing it on a mobile device. Uh, you just don't have the, the precision. And the but virtual buttons take up a little bit of screen real estate which is a problem in a game that had such, such little help. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting a hang of a uh, combo. And when you go into um, one of these time bubbles, they don't stop your combo. So as long as you as long as you don't touch the ground outside of a time bubble, you keep your you keep your combo going. Like that. Pretty good, eight. Pretty good for me. So the Noppy shoots in the direction you're moving. It's um, maybe a little difficult to see. Okay. Consuming some dead bodies. Consume enough, you'll get more health. There's also these little... Look at my health there. There's some empty slots. By getting hearts with full health, you can upgrade your max. I'll see if I can show this. I don't know if I'll be able to show this. It doesn't have much in the way of damage capacity. It's totally out there. What can we buy? So charge, like I said, it... it Increases your max ammo. But you see, I've got an eight for my charge there. Uh, let's do two, and you can see there under my four of four, there's a little tick that's now been filled in. Let's go to charge. Let's just spend it. Can't take it with you. gonna get you hurt. Longer state of invincibility blocks will shoot out bullets when destroyed. That sounds slightly useful. Oh, that was a all red. Eight. 
somehow got help. The moment I got hurt is what it looked like, and I just missed the shot. I don't know, this not begun. I'm gonna change the puncher, because. I'd like to be able to show you some of the different worlds. Because it's not just this. I guess. This one, I don't know. Okay, here we go. The catacombs is the second zone. I almost There it is. But I unlocked the arm spin style, so let's go take a look at that. Only find gun modules. Shops are rare. So, I mean, let's see how that plays out. There's one, um... Oh, there's a couple, like, I know Boulder is a style that uh, you start with more health, uh, higher maximum. And, uh, there's Floaty, which uh, your jump is a little longer. You kind of float a little more in the air. Two shots. Jeez. It's rough. Yes, so this should give me... It's gained for uh, 4 HP. But since I was in the hole, it filled, filled me up enough to increase my maximum by one. which are supposed to be rare. Oh my god, I only have three. So let's give me another heart and see if I can increase my maximum. achievement for that. Um, let's see my fork. Health is <laughs> so critical in this game. So hard to come by. So easy to come by. No. This shouldn't have been possible. Get above me. As you can see, I'm making, I'm improving, I'm getting, uh, making noticeable progress, getting to the catacombs. I'm dying. 
Ooh, we got the G Boy palette. So let's change to the G Boy or the Game Boy. Now that I know most of the enemy types, it should be a, it should be playable. I just can't uh, afford to forget what an enemy's attack is. And then it really looks like a Metroid uh, power. Just in the, the blocks, especially. if uh, the developer had any inspiration from, from Metroid or what, but this is still supposed to come out on uh, Android, even though it's not out yet, and it supports, um, the, P the Steam version here supports uh, vertical screen. So if you have one of those monitors that you can rotate, you can get rid of like the HUD elements. You can rearrange the HUD elements in a way that uh, works with a vertical screen. So it takes up all of the screen's real estate. Instead of like how it is right now on my uh, feet here, it's, it's one third. One third. There's just a bunch of black space on the left and right. Um, it's really cool. Option. Um, there's some screenshots of the game running on a Vita. Which would be nice. A better portable version than maybe a mobile phone. Because you have, you know, buttons. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a red. So, the one good thing about it finding gun modules instead of those piles of gems is um, you're more likely to get hearts. I don't know if this fires occasionally or not. V-Boy palette, which... Oh my gosh. Just awful. I guess the, the reds of the red enemies are redder. A little bolder. You can see the snail thing is supposed to be all red. But, yikes. Okay. The, only, the only people that I could imagine play like this are are those that um, are doing like speed runs or trying to make the game more challenging in some way. Maybe we'll see this in like an, an awesome games done quick uh, scenario. Let's change to... Let's try Aqua. One of my upgrades here is the laser sight, which is supposed to increase my range as well as my accuracy and make me more accurate, but I don't know. I'm looking to uh, unlock another style before I quit. There are three other zones that I haven't made it to, and then a boss. Two four.
I made it to the underwater zone, which adds uh, an oxygen component to the game. So you can really see the, the way that the map goes with the laser sight on here. Yeah, it, it, it's a... Uh, it's a difficult game, but I'm familiar with the movement. The enemy patterns. You learn how the game works, and it becomes easier to play. God. All right, let's give it. Let's give it one more. One more attempt with the default downwell palette. Give it a call it here. I'll oh, stream that combo. Just messed up again. Yeah, frogs and bats seem to uh, kill me the most. Just T triple. Okay. You also notice in the environment there are uh, white objects that you can use to string your combo. Like there's that rice ball looking thing there. There's a boulder thing there. Gem has a bullet to shoot up. Let's see, I haven't played with that one, so let's see how that one works and see if it'll help me out. Okay, it shoots a gem and a bullet. Got me a kill there. That is Downwell. Uh, you can see there's three more styles for me to unlock. Uh, it's pretty pretty short, I guess. Once you become good at it, um, it's a simple simple game. I'm just not that good at it yet. Um, yeah, it's three bucks on Steam. I think it's also three bucks on iOS and coming to Android. Um, It's good. Um, I think it's one of the better games that I've played this year. Uh, let's see if I can quit out here. But yeah, that is down well. Thank you for uh, thanks for watching, and have a great week.